Today, I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard that will change based on where you are in your smart home using an emotion sensor and the bubble card in Home Assistant. And if you're ready, let's go. To get this working, just go to my website. For this, we are going to need the bubble card. Just scroll down and you can use this button to install it in hacks. This card made by Clues will add two killer features to Home Assistant. The first one is a pop-up. This will allow you to create pop-ups that can be opened by any card that can navigate to a different URL or that can be triggered by a sensor. Like, for example, if someone is at the door, open the pop-up with the camera preview. And the second one is the horizontal icon stack. This will allow you to create a bottom row of icons that can rearrange itself based on motion sensors. This will allow Home Assistant to always give you access to the most relevant room right where you need it. And the best of all is that you can integrate all of this into your current dashboard. It also has separators, buttons, and spacers that you can use to build your perfect dashboard. So you just need to follow it if you want to improve the loading performance of your dashboard. Now we need to install the bubble pop-up as an extra module. For this, just go to my website and here just copy the code and go back to Home Assistant. And here just go to File Editor and open your configuration YAML. And here you just need to paste the code. If you already have a front-end line like me, just copy this part of the code and paste it here. Erase this. And that's it. Now just save and restart Home Assistant. For this, go to Developer Tools, click on Restart, Restart, and Restart. After it's finished, go back to Overview. And here, I'm going to add the functionality to my current dashboard. If you want to know how I built it, check out my perfect dashboard video. Now, just click on the tools here, click on Edit Dashboard, click on Add a Card, Let's add the horizontal button stack. For this, just look for bubble card. Click on it. Now, click on card type. And here, select horizontal button stack. I'm going to check the outdoor order option. And then, just click on add a button. And here, you can put a link or a hash to open a pop-up. I'm going to put kitchen. Then I'm going to select the icon. Then I'm going to select the light. And the present sensor. And that's it. You can add as many buttons as you want. So just create the ones that you need and then just click on save. Now we're going to add a pop-up. For this, just click on Add a Card. We are going to look for Vertical Stack. And now, first, we need to add a Bubble Pop-Up. For this, just look for Bubble Pop-Up. And here, we need to change the hash. We can give it a name. Select an icon. We can select an entity to toggle and an entity state to display. You can even add an auto close time. Then just scroll down. And here you can select an entity and an state to open the pop up automatically. If you scroll down more, you will find the styling options. These options will allow you to change the margin, the color, the opacity, the blur, and the shadow opacity. And at the end, we have an option to enable the back button to navigate through the pop-ups. I'm going to leave it as it is, and we're going to keep adding the cards that we need. For example, if I want to start a section, just click on plus, look for bubble card, select separator, and just give it a name, choose an icon, and that's it. Now, to create a more versatile interface, just add a grid, And here, I'm going to add a bubble button. And card type, select button. 
you can use this card to control lights, switch, and media players. For this, just select an entity, select an icon, and you can change the button type from switch to slider. If you select a slider, it will allow you to control the brightness of your light. And I'm just going to copy and paste this to add my media player. And you can rearrange this as you like. I'm just going to select two columns and deactivate render cards as squares. You also have a type cover. For this, just select cover, select an entity, and you can customize pretty much everything. And once you're finished building your pop-up, just click on save. If you click done, you will see the interface and you will be able to open and close the pop-up that we just created. And that's it. Now, you might notice that this is not centered. This is because the interface of the car hides, but Home Assistant already decides the placement. A workaround that I found for this is putting your main interface in the center. For this, just click on the three dots, click on Edit Dashboard, and I'm going to put this pop-up to one. And now, if you click Done, you will see that the interface is centered. Once you're finished building your pop-ups, you will have an interface like this. And that's it! This card is a game changer and can be adapted to work with any dashboard. So give it a try and see how it changes the way that you interact with your smart home. Kudos to Clues for this amazing development. Since the beginning, he has been really active, improving and adding more functionality to the card. So go ahead and visit the GitHub page and give it a start. If you like my work, please consider supporting me on Coffee using the button on my website or the link in the description. Either way, I will be eternally thankful. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!